Yo guys, Code Life here. So in this video today, guys, I'm gonna showcase the best Nvidia settings in Fortnite Season 2 that will 100% lower your input delay. Guys, if this video does help you out, then please like, please subscribe, and also please check out my website, GameSettings.com, to find the very best pro player settings in Fortnite, CSGO, and Valorant. Now though, let's go ahead and get into the best Nvidia settings, starting off with the drivers firstly. So for these guys, you've got an option, you can either go with the latest drivers, which I do recommend, or you can go with the best known drivers for Fortnite. Now to get the latest drivers, all you need to do is go onto your desktop, click on the bottom left uh, start menu right there, and type in NVIDIA Experience. This should then open up the NVIDIA Experience app. You then want to click on the Drivers tab at the top right there, and then as you can see, at the top you'll see the latest driver that's available for you and your graphics card. You can see for me right here, it's the GeForce Game Ready driver, and it's version 5.12.15. What I'm going to do is go ahead and insert install this as it should give me the best FPS possible and the lowest input delay. But for you guys, you might want to try out the best known drivers for Fortnite, which I've got a few of them on screen right here. You can see there's the 441.41 driver, the 457.30 driver, the 475.51 driver, or the 512.15 driver. These are just some of the best ones I've found on Reddit, online and just searching for the best known drivers for Fortnite. And these are some drivers that everyone basically recommends. So you can go ahead, try them out if you want. Alternatively, you can do what I'm doing and just use the latest drivers available for you. Next up, we want to go into the NVIDIA control panel, which to do this, there's actually two different methods. The first one is the easiest one. Just go onto your desktop, right click on it, and you should see the option for the NVIDIA control panel. Just click on that and you're all good to go. If that doesn't work, you can do method two, which is to go on your desktop again, click on the start menu at the bottom left corner, type in the Microsoft Store, and in here you want to search at the top bar NVIDIA Control Panel, then it should appear, just go ahead and open it up, and then once you guys are in the NVIDIA Control Panel, just like this, we can now go through each setting and optimize it for the best performance and the lowest amount of input delay. First up in the 3D settings, where it says Adjust Image Settings with Preview, you want to go ahead and click on this tab, and as you can see, by default it says Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings, but we don't want to click on that just yet, instead we want to click on the Use My Preference emphasizing and want to drag that slider all the way to performance then we want to click back on the use advanced 3d image settings and this is very important because if you don't have this middle option selected none of these changes that we're about to make in a second will work so make sure you've got that middle one where it says used advanced 3d image settings selected then you can simply click on that take me there button and as you can see it'll take you into the manage 3d settings um, options right here inside of here guys you should see image shopping and first up you want to go ahead and turn that off as this will basically sharpen images and right now we don't need it for the native 1920 by 1080 resolution. However, if you guys do use a stretched resolution in Fortnite, you might want to use this image sharpening setting as it can really sharpen your game and make it look a lot better than just the default stretched resolution. Ambient occlusion, you want to have that turned off as it just gives extra like improved graphical options that we just don't want as we want the best performance possible. In isotropic filtering, you want to go ahead and turn this to off as again, it's one of those filters that will improve the graphic quality of your game but we've got no interest in that as we want more fps rather than better game quality next we've got the anti-aliasing options right here and if you guys don't know what fxaa is or anti-aliasing is it's basically a sort of filter that allows you to improve your game textures but it comes at a cost of giving you lower fps so unfortunately we do not want to use that you want to turn off anti-aliasing fxaa gamma correction and then transparency as well next we've got background max frame rate and what this setting does guys is when you alt tab out of your game it basically gives your pc more power to whatever program or application you alt tab to which sounds great if you are a multitasker but for most of us that play games we usually don't have other like tabs or other things open while we're gaming apart from maybe discord and like chrome but you don't need extra gpu power going to those instead i would just go ahead and turn this off but if you guys do alt tab lots and you do want extra power going to those alt tab programs you can turn to 20 but overall i recommend just having this off Next, we've got CUDA GPUs. For this option right here, I would highly recommend turning it to all, as well as clicking on it and making sure that your GPU is actually selected. Next, we've got low latency mode, and if you haven't heard about the NVIDIA low latency mode, it's basically an option that can heavily reduce latency in competitive games like Fortnite. It essentially removes the rendering queue, which makes the mouse click to your CPU, to your GPU, to your display, like, instant, and it just makes your game a lot more faster and feels way more responsive. But I highly recommend using the on option, as the ultra option actually can affect your fps or at least from my experience it's something that you guys need to 
you try it for yourselves, I would recommend starting off with on, see how your FPS um, actually goes in game, and then you can try going on ultra, and then seeing if it does affect it as well, but for me personally, I always recommend either using on, or even off if both of these options right here affect your FPS negatively. Yes, overall it will reduce your latency, but if this does negatively affect your FPS in any way, it's just not worth using, and you should have the option off. But for most of you guys, I think you will benefit having it on on, or having it on ultra. Max frame rate, I recommend having this turned off as you guys really don't want to cap your FPS inside of the Nvidia control panel settings. Instead, I'd recommend doing that inside of the game like Fortnite in the video settings tab or rather inside the Fortnite config, which I did a video all about on screen right here. I'll link the best config settings for Fortnite in the description below. OpenGL rendering GPU. For this guys, you want to go ahead and select your GPU and make sure that it is actually selected inside of there for the best performance. For power management mode, you want to make sure that this is set to prefer max performance as what this will do is it'll basically ramp up your GPU and give you a pretty noticeable FPS boost in Fortnite or any other game. Share the cache size, you want to choose the driver default option. For texture filtering, as you can see there's four different options right here. You want to have the first one set to off, the second one set to clamp, the third one which is quality set to high performance, this one's very important, and then the fourth one you want to have that set to on. For threaded optimization, I recommend using the auto setting, as this is one of those settings that's really iffy, so overall I just recommend using auto, as it'll allow Nvidia to find whichever settings best for your PC and the specs that you're specifically using. Overall guys, I highly recommend just using auto for this one. Triple buffering, you definitely want to have this one turned off, as we are not using vSync. vSync and triple buffering work really well hand in hand, and we just don't want to use a setting as again we're not using vSync so go ahead and turn this one off. Same with virtual sync or vSync you want to make sure this option's turned off too. Next up we've got the display tab with the first option change resolution. In here guys I highly recommend using either 1920 by 1080 native resolution as well as having your refresh rate selected too. As you can see I'm obviously using a 144Hz monitor so I've got my refresh rate set as 144Hz. That is very important. On top of that if you guys want to use a stretched resolution I actually highly recommend using one of these ones underneath the PC or native resolution like 1680 by 1050, 1600 by 1024, 1600 by 900. Any of these guys will work great and they will definitely boost your FPS in Fortnite. Next up we've got the adjust desktop colour settings right here and as you can see guys my top three right here are default but my digital vibrance is not that's actually on 75% as I personally believe that if you increase your digital vibrance in Fortnite it makes your game look a lot better and allows you to see enemies a lot easier than you could before. I did a whole video about it on screen right here guys. Overall though I highly recommend using either between 50 that's a default digital vibrance to 100%. For me though I found that 75% the middle ground works really really well and it might work well for you too. Try it out guys and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Next we've got the adjust desktop size and positioning and this one's really important guys. You firstly want to select your main game and monitor so mine is the BenQ XL2430T. You then want to make sure that you have the no scaling option selected if you use a 1920 by 1080 resolution or rather native resolution but if you use a stretched resolution I highly recommend using full screen. So if you're using 1920 by 1080 resolution use no scaling and if you're using a stretched resolution use full screen and then as well as that guys for perform scaling on you definitely want to make sure that display is selected as that gives you much lower input delay than gpu would so make sure that display is selected for that one it is very possible that you might not even get this display option and just the gpu option and if that's the case this means you've got a very very cheap monitor unfortunately but it's not the end of the world if that's the only option you can select it's all good and then finally guys for the rest of the nvidia options inside of the control panel as you can see all of these i've just left default the only ones i've actually mentioned in in this video are ones I've specifically changed. All the rest are literally just the default ones that came as is. But yeah guys, that's been the very best NVIDIA control settings for Fortnite in Season 2, Chapter 3. If the video helped out, feel free to drop a like on it, subscribe, and use code LIFE in the Fortnite item shop. And as well as that guys, feel free to check out my website gamesettings.com to find out what the best pros are using. I'll leave a link in the description below. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.